Did you know that more people now get their news online than from any other source? MainWebNews.com covers the current events forming the trends of tomorrow. Experience the future of Maine News today at MainWebNews.com. Tomorrow, the United States Senate will decide whether or not to repeal President Clinton's very unpopular don't ask, don't tell policy, whereby a gay person could serve in the military just as long as nobody asked them if they were gay, and as long as they never told anyone they were gay. No big surprise that hasn't worked out very well. International pop superstar Lady Gaga came to the Deering Oaks Park in Portland, Maine today. Miss Gaga was listed by the New York Times as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. And her videos have over 1 billion views online. A billion views? That's quite a few. I hope that this video gets 100 views. A billion? That's not too bad. Here's the raw footage of what she had to say. this speech, this address, myself. I've spent 48 hours trying to find the perfect thing to say. My address to you today is called the Prime Rib of America. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and I will bear true faith and allegiance to do the same. And I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to regulations and the uniform code of military justice. So help me God. Unless there's a gay soldier in my unit, sir. taken every day by service members of the armed forces when they enlist to serve their country. <laughs> Equality is the prime rib of America. <laughs> but because I'm gay, I don't get to enjoy the greatest cut of meat my country has to offer. There are amazing heroes here today whose stories are more powerful than any story I could tell, any fight I've ever fought, and any song that I could sell. I'm here because they inspire me. The Pentagon and senators such as John McCain have cited that the military is a unique institution. They have cited that homosexuals serving openly cause disruption to unit cohesion and morale. So, so what this means is, is they're saying that straight soldiers feel uncomfortable around gay soldiers, and sometimes it causes tension, hostility, and possible performance inadequacies for straight soldiers who are homophobic. And even though some studies have been done to show an overwhelming and remarkable lack of disruption to units with gay soldiers, or care for that matter, I will for a moment entertain this debate. As I am less concerned with refuting the fact that in the workplace, in any workplace, there are tensions. There's even more possible possibility to have tension when you're fighting for your life. But I'm more concerned that John McCain and other Republican senators are using homophobia as a defense in their argument. 
As a side note, both Matthew, Matthew Shepard's killers have life sentences in prison. And laws, laws have since been passed that homophobia cannot be used as defense anymore in hate crimes in our judicial system. Doesn't it seem to be that don't ask, don't tell is backwards? Doesn't it seem to be, based on the Constitution of the United States, that we're penalizing the wrong soldier? Doesn't it seem to you that we should send home the prejudice? The street soldier who hates the gay soldier. The street soldier whose performance in the military is affected because he is homophobic. The street soldier, the street soldier who has prejudice in his heart in the space where the military asks him to hold our core American values, he instead holds and harbors hate, and he gets to stay and fight for our country. He gets the honor. But we gay soldiers who harbor no hatred, no prejudice, no phobia, we're sent home. I am here today because I would like to propose a new law. A law that sends home the soldier that has the problem. Our new law is called, If You Don't Like It, Go Home. charges the soldier with the issue. The law that discharges the soldier with the real problem. The homophobic soldier that has the real negative effect on unit cohesion. A law that sends home the homophobe. A law that sends home the prejudice. A law that doesn't prosecute the gay soldier who fights for equality with no problem, but prosecutes the straight soldier who fights against it. Or, perhaps that was a bit spun. To be fair, it sends home the straight soldier who fights for some freedoms, for some equalities but not for the equality of the gay. He is the one, or she is the one, under this new proposition, who will be discharged for disrupting the military. If you are not committed to perform with excellence as a United States soldier because you don't believe in full equality, go home! Without prejudice, go home. If you are not capable of keeping your oath to the armed forces to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and I will bear true faith and allegiance to do the same, unless there's a gay soldier in my unit, then go home. to be a cafeteria American soldier? <laughs> Can you choose some things from the Constitution to put on your plate, but not others? A buffet, perhaps. I'm not talking about citizens. We have the right to grieve, to protest. We have a right to this rally. But I'm talking about soldiers. Should the military be allowed to treat constitutional rights like a cafeteria? No. no! 
in the military, is it acceptable? Is it acceptable to be a cafeteria American? What I mean to say is, should soldiers and the government be able to pick and choose what we are fighting for in the Constitution? We're going to war for you, and you, and you, and you, and you, but not you, because you're gay. You can risk your life. You can risk your life for this war, for this country. But in the end, you're not fighting for yourself. You're fighting for us. You're fighting for straight people. You're fighting. You are not included. You are not included when we say equal. You're not even fully included when we say freedom. I'm here today in this park in Maine to say that if the Senate and the President are not going to repeal this don't ask, don't tell policy, perhaps they should be more clear with us about who the military is fighting for. <laughs> who our tax dollars are supporting. And ultimately, how much does the prime rib cost? Because I thought this was an all-you-can-eat buffet. This equality stuff, I thought equality meant everyone. But apparently, for certain value meals, for certain civil rights, I have to pay extra because I'm gay. I shouldn't have to pay extra. I should have the ability, the opportunity, the right to enjoy the same rights, the same piece of meat that my fellow soldiers, fellow straight soldiers, already have included in their meal of rights. It's prime rib. It's the same size, it's the same grade, the same cut and wholesale cost, and it's in the Constitution. My name is Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanata. I am an American citizen. To the Senate, to Americans, to Senator Olympia Snow, Senator Susan Collins, both from Maine, and Senator Scott Brown of Massachusetts. Equality is the prime rib of America. Equality is the prime rib of what we stand for as a nation. I don't get to enjoy the greatest cut of meat that my country has to offer. Are you listening? Shouldn't everyone reserve, reserve, shouldn't everyone deserve the right to wear the same meat dress that I do. <laughs> Repeal, don't ask, don't tell. Or go home, go home, go.